in the air. Get a good view. I can cover a lot of water. And I just want to see if there's any fish here. So I'm going to fish through here a little bit. And then uh, if we get any bites, of course, we'll stick it out and fish a bit more. If not, winter, I think it's about winter time. You want to keep some different... This is fishing from the bank. So I want to keep a few different areas in mind that I'm going to hit. So I'm just starting here. And hopefully somewhere in between along the way, in the beginning of the end, I could even finish here. Sometimes it's a function of tide, time and tide. <laughs> but uh, yeah, just getting started here. So uh, bridges are always good to fish around. I just love bridges. It's closed off, but there's always a way to the other side. <laughs> okay, I'm going to check out down here. Try here for a bit. Tight corner. Try the other side here. This is the sunny side. Uh, it's gonna be warming up a little. So it's always sunny side and warm up. Good. Other side is shady, which is good too. Yeah. Feel the warmth. So I'm gonna um yeah fish through here a little. I'm uh, fishing through. Uh, time just flew by today. Hit, hit some spots. We actually went to another spot. Uh, just looking, took a few casts if there's any active fish, but uh, time's getting short. So I'm gonna um, finish out here, I think. Uh, I think you got a good shot. Uh, might move, there's still time to move, I think, but maybe I'll work through here thoroughly. All right, it worked, it worked. That feels like. Wow, is that a bass? That is a, oh, that's a nice big one. This is six pound test going to be a... I'm going to use my lamp. Starting, there he is. Starting here with the wraps. They're just flashy. It's a nice. Oh, he's cold. So yeah, like I said, I was working through. The number seven rep in brook trout. That's what he grabbed. I got the other one on perch, it's a little bigger. So if I get another, another, I'm definitely gonna go down to a single kind of style lure. These are just good for searching. It's just been a tough day. The sun's setting and uh decided to stick through here a little earlier. See if we could pack a few more fish. So. Alright, let's get fishing. Mm. These rappelers are great. We're going to do a whole video on them. You see them a lot. Um, you see me using them a lot. The winter time, I, I like to sink in. I like to get it down deep. I like to work it slow. They got a good vibration. And it's just a great winter time bait. In winter time, be careful with your anti reverse. Mm, see? A lot of times that's cold. If you got roller bearings, It'll make those barons smaller and they'll get the cold and they'll miss and it'll slip like it just did for me it's it's uh when i go start the camera that's when i lose a lot of fish because the reel will back pedal you don't want that that's when you, you fish are going to drop off so something to pain mine with if you have a roller baron model spinning reel and this is the 
This is the number nine perch colored rapala. I like the perch. Um, like the perch, they kind of like coexist, not peacefully, with the with the pickerel, and uh, so it's always a great color, great color to use for pickerel. Pickerel come in and feed on those yellow perch. In this setup here, I have an eight-pound monofilament line and uh, it's a 10 pound leader this is a us real supercast uh, 610x from mario um it's got a a level wine but it's not a level wine it's a level wine bar almost like a pen 350 uh, i'll do a video on that but the this with the eight pound monofilament i'm running i like to run winter time at least 10 summertime 15 pound leader and that's floral carp. I mean, we'll help get that floor down a little bit less a little better on the bottom. Ooh. I think that's a bigger fish. Might be a bass. He's coming up. Oh, I might be a, I don't know. It feels like a good one. Oh, that's a big fish. Oh. <gasps> Much bigger than the other guy. That's a nice guy. Oh. Oh, he's much bigger than the wood. Take him on the hook. Shoot warmed up a little bit. Don't... Yeah. Like I said, we come back for a picture. <laughs> Hold on. It's got the line in this mouth, so we're gonna have to check that. Oh, there it goes. See? <laughs> he did quick work with that. I'm going to retie here and I'm going to check my leader out. <laughs> okay. But uh, if you're going to lip them, winter time is, <laughs> you just take a good look in their mouth. I don't advise it. Uh, just been, you know, I'm used to it. So. All right. So um, I guess quick talk about this rod. This is a Shakespeare Alpha XT six foot actually it's five and a half feet medium action i'm cool it, it, it's soft i can throw i like the softness for it. these hard baits um no oh, just about anything uh, i do have a couple of rods i'm working today i i'm a, i'm an adamant believer that you're limited there's so many things to throw there's so many lures, worms, and crankbaits, stick baits, uh, and rapalas, grubs, jigs. You can probably do 75% of the gambit with any setup. And uh, like I said, I'm an animate believer in uh, knowing how to work anything, anytime, anywhere. Uh, the two rods you really can work everything in the proper weight zone. Uh, price, uh, you know, of course you're going to have a nicer balance, a nicer feel with more expensive tackle. Uh, but this works for for me. I think it'll work for anyone. I just just feel confident and uh, get wear it like like a glove. Your tackle know what it can do with rod and uh, you're all set like i said if you work two rods you can work 110 percent of the range of fishing lures there is to throw as long as you're in the proper size range but this is a and that's a us i love this reel that was given to me by mario in uh florida i'm gonna do a video on this reel it's a little different it's got a a level wine bar not a level wine guy that's pretty cool
So uh, that's uh, prob probably the typical winter day. Um, I'm going to finish off. Well, I wanted to stick with the wrapper, but <laughs> these tubes are fun. Uh, but that's your typical, that's well, a good typical winter day. You pull out a couple nice pickerel. They look so big in the water. Um, but they would definitely keep a, keep a pickerel. Uh, I think you can keep up to five or something like that. Three or five, somewhere in there. Uh, on the Rapala minnow and uh, size nine and size seven, worked it through, worked it through pretty tight. And uh, it was a great day. Hit a few winter time, you know, get in the car, move around. There's some kind of dropped out, so. Actually, in the wind got still, which is a okay. But I'm gonna get, uh, take a few more casts with the tube here and uh, and get going. But uh, thanks for watching. Uh, good afternoon, night, day, evening, wherever you are.